is it actually worth swapping the battery of an older iPhone? This is an iPhone 6s, and the battery capacity on this was about 75%, and I didn't want to waste almost $70 to change to a new battery. So I bought one from AliExpress, watched some tutorials, and then did the actual swap. But now the question is, can the new battery actually last me a day in 2025? First off, I have to check if everything works, like Touch ID, rear camera, and charging, because Apple is known to be very anti-repair. But everything seems to be working just fine and if I go into settings yes we can see that even the battery health percentage is showing that's it at 100% and no error messages are popping up too which is an extremely good sign because that means that I didn't mess up anything while repairing the phone which in turn implies that I can safely continue funny thing is last year when I reviewed this phone the battery life was absolutely horrendous and I couldn't go a day without recharging the phone but now the question is can it actually last a day after I have swapped the old battery for a newer one, which is at 100% battery health. I started off the day with the phone fully charged, and I had to get used to the tiny screen and thick bezels on the iPhone 6s, rather than the larger screens and thinner bezels on newer smartphones. But after a while I realized maybe tiny isn't that bad. You see this tiny screen is super easy to reach all four corners with. Texting is of course a bit hard, but I managed just fine. And this phone does also have 3D touch, which is a nice touch. The only problem I had with the screen got to be the brightness, because whenever I was outside and actually touching some grass, I couldn't even see the screen, even when I cranked the brightness to maximum. So here we have the iPhone 6s and I've been using it to drive for about an hour with Google Maps on and uh, it's not 55% from 100% which is a little bit concerning considering that I'm gonna be using this phone for a whole day or I'm gonna try to use this phone for a whole day and if this phone reaches 0% I'm cooked because this is the only phone I have right now you see although there's a brand new battery inside this phone it still has a capacity of just 1715 milliamp hours which in 2025 isn't that much and this phone has a 10 year old A9 chip inside in other words it's gonna use a lot of power and will not be efficient when running modern software one reason the battery is so small is because the phone is super thin this phone was actually released in an era where manufacturers were competing to make the thinnest phone possible. Much like nowadays with the iPhone 17 Air and Galaxy S25 Edge. And therefore, the iPhone 6s is only 7.1mm thick. And that kinda makes the iPhone 6s very comfortable to hold, especially with its rounded edges. Now one thing I'm definitely not complaining about is the performance as it was surprisingly good since last year this phone was a lot laggier and didn't do that well. But now the Touch ID is super fast and reliable after almost 10 years. The phone of course took some time opening up apps or websites but it wasn't like last year. I feel like the performance has changed since I swapped the battery and later I found out that it was because the processor is intentionally slowing down the phone which is otherwise known as performance throttling. And Apple does this so your phone doesn't randomly shut down or give you unstable power. Thankfully this phone is running a fairly modern iOS 15 so I can in fact download many of the apps I use on my main phone and my airpods and stuff works with this phone pretty well. So it's soon 8 o'clock and my phone 6s is at 1% and I've been using it whole day. And one thing I noticed is that it stayed at 1% for about half an hour. And this is nothing new, as this happened before I changed the battery too. This can happen due to bad battery calibration. So that's that. It didn't last me a full entire day with my normal usage, though it lasted way more than back when the battery health was only at 75%. And that's mainly because it's a 10 year old phone with an outdated chip and a tiny battery for today's standards. Now swapping the battery yourself costs only about $20 for a kit and $10 for a new battery. And that's way cheaper than Apple's almost $70 fee. All in all, changing the battery was worth it. As I said, it almost lasted me a full day, and probably would have, if I used it a bit less. Anyways, that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it, and subscribe so I'll catch you later.